Yo, what's going on guys? So we're back to day four, war number six of season 23. And the reason why this war took so long to upload, because, well, I got a new event this month, so been a lot of content, but also I've been just dreading having to make this war video because there's one fight that I just, uh, it's been haunting me for uh, about the past week, which we're gonna get to, and uh, we're gonna explain what happened and slow it down a little bit when we get there. Uh, but starting out here, which is my first fight, it's a Mr. Sinister, super, super easy fight. I didn't even bother boosting at this point. I just wanted to, to get this fight done, so I'm not linking anyone. And then, um, I'm, I don't think I went back to bed after this fight, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to get it out of the way, so I could uh, just this fight now, and then only have to do war one more time later on in the day. So I should get it out of my head for a while. And Mr. Sinister, Human Torch is a phenomenal counter. One of the... One of the very few matchups with Human Torch where you actually don't want to use the pre-fight. I mean, you still can, it's still good, but you're better off not using it because of uh, you can just build a ton of Smolder against this guy because he, he passes them back onto you. Um, and so, so that just makes your incinerates way stronger. And you can still trigger Nova Flames, of course. Um, and yeah, this fight's super easy. It goes down without a problem at all. And yeah, that was section one, and then about like three four hours later uh we went ahead and uh did section two so i had to wait for uh, the mini bosses right here to go down they did got taters to move for me uh and i have enough energy to clear my entire path here and then i can just chill for the rest of the night you know i like to just get war done as quickly as possible so that i don't have to like to worry about it you know i can just get war out of my mind and just kind of chill for the rest of the night you know so i boosted up uh decently big here 15 percent health 20 percent attack and health I'm uh, going to go ahead and use a science power back boost because we're going to be using a little bit of Captain America. Uh, but for this long shot here, we're going to be running Human Torch uh, with the pre-fight on. Um, and yeah, we're also going to be using a power start one boost. That's mainly for this fight just because uh, a power start one boost goes so far on this fight because it, it basically, it's like two bars of power on this fight because there's power reserve. Um, so you can turn that one bar of power that you start with, get to two bars, use your special two, and then boom, you still have a full bar of power left. So I find it really good for, for this fight using a one, uh, power start one. It, of course, it depends who you're fighting, but on a fight like this, this long shot, yeah, it's great for this. So here, uh, we can just go ahead and throw our special two, and you can see we still have a ton of power to throw another special whenever we need to. The science power back boost actually pushed us just enough to get to another special two. Back-to-back -back special twos, wow, that went extremely well, bro. Long shot just literally got melted. Now, time for the fight that's been haunting me for about a week now. Um, yeah, so it's Magneto here. They are running Protect, but it doesn't really matter too much for any of my fights. So going into this fight, I've done this fight before. I've done it one other time. As last, the first time, of course, uh, was my first time doing it. So it was a little bit of a learning curve, but I, I, I understood what to do very quickly, very fast, and it went off without a hitch the first time, soloed it, no problem. So, you know, going into this, I know exactly what to do again, and I'm not worried at all. Mainly, the, the main reason why we're running Captain America here is because we can't really use anyone who's metal. So that takes away a lot of counters. Uh, you also can't stun on this node. Uh, you can stun when it's on cooldown, but then there's also the one-eyed open node to worry about, which I was aware that that was here, of course. But with Captain America, as long as you have, as long as you're kinetically charged, you're actually able to just bait out heavy attacks and nullify his unstoppable to get your openings, like we're doing right here. Uh, you notice I go for a special three. I use a heavy attack beforehand to get the fury to make it hit a little bit harder, and with the science boost, we're able to uh, to get some power back. So. Everything's going really well so far, you know, so good. We're playing exactly how we're supposed to be. We've taken off over 30%. Uh, we still have over over three and a half minutes. We've got tons of time. Everything's going great so far. Like this fight is totally in hand right now. Uh, you can see I'm even parrying his special one just to build kinetic uh, charges that way. Uh, like everything's going just perfectly so far, man. I'm trying to get uh, more kinetically charged uh just by letting him hit my block a bit you know we got a lot of block proficiency so i'm not worried get to another special three activate a fury effect um before we drop it does thirty-six thousand damage does a lot of damage this is a rank three magneto 
Uh, we get about a bar of power back as well with the science boost. Like everything is going great. So at this point, I'm like, all right, this fight's almost won. And now at this point, I start thinking, you know, let me finish this with a special two. So right here, I throw my special two. And, and then I die. So that happened really fast. So we're going to take a look at that in slow motion here. We're going to put it to about uh, one quarter normal speed. So let me let me walk you through what's happening in my mind here. So I parry and I drop the special two. No stun. He's not stunned. However, the damage from the special two and the stun both apply at the same time. And at this point, I got flustered up I'm like, wait, wait, what's going on? I'm like, OK, let me just kill him really quick here. So I start attacking him and then I die for like a split moment. I kind of just forgot about one eyed open man. And uh, we hit him 54 times. And how many times did we get hit? Zero, that's not gonna show. We got hit a total of zero times. So I beat myself there. I totally beat myself, dude. I had the fight one, it was almost over. I just, I don't know why I, wa I wanted to go for a special two, but I, I did. And uh, I made sure, I, I timed it so that he was not stunned when I threw it. You know, I kept that in mind, of course. But the damage and the stun transpired at the exact same moment, I guess. So when he took the damage, he was then stunned, and then I took the damage. And then at that point, I just got really flustered. I was like, I looked at my health. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? I'm about to die. And I just went into panic mode. And I'm like, just get me out of this fight. So I attacked him and then I died. So yeah, really just totally avoidable death. I just feel like such an idiot for doing that, man. Oh, I, had to, I totally had that fight won. I should have just stuck, stuck to the plan, went for another special three and it would have been over. Um, so there was my perfect season. I just threw it, threw it away, beating myself like that. Just a total bonehead move. Oh, I felt like just so stupid. I was so mad at myself after that fight. Going into this fight, bro, I was like barely paying attention. I, <laughs> it, it's a good thing I didn't have like any serious fights after that one because I was really not in the right mindset to uh, to be doing a fight, uh, serious war fights. Uh, I was just super flustered and just so mad at myself, dude. Just, oh my god. Um, so yeah, I uh, I don't know if, if that special two would have crit because he took the damage first, and then like a second later, I took the reflected damage. If the L two would have crit, he would have died, and it, and then the fight would have just been over. It wouldn't have been a reflected. So that's. Uh, or actually, maybe, uh, depending on what his sig was, actually. Maybe it was damage capped. I, I think it would have killed him. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I died. And that's how. Just such a stupid death, man. Such a stupid, such a silly death. And yeah, I literally beat myself there. <laughs> literally, like, just beat into myself. I just, oh, so stupid. But uh, yeah, this next fight was an absolute joke with Magneto. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Warlock dead. Um, the slight silver lining is I didn't have to use any items this war, I guess. Because uh, I went with Torch to finish up that Magneto. But yeah, I'm just so pissed off at myself, dude. If, if I finish this season without dying, and like anymore, and that's my only death, that's... Oh my god, I'm going to be so annoyed, dude. Um, so yeah, uh, if we go take a look at the stats now. Uh, one death So that's great and we actually lost the war as well and it was pretty close too So that makes me feel even worse. We we wouldn't have won if I didn't die um, I'm not exactly sure what the final score was, but it, it was close, but um, Yeah, me not dying maybe would have tied it, but it wouldn't have won us the war But yeah, that just makes me feel even worse. You know that it was so close and I died um, Yeah, just oh, I feel like crap after this war man feel so bad Ugh, i was just so pissed off at myself because i just, i don't know why i did that and i just panicked yeah totally my fault just a stupid move but yeah that's gonna do it for this war guys now you see why i didn't want to upload it just uh it just pisses me off uh yeah we're halfway through the season now six wars left 
yeah, it's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoy me dying. Peace out.